And we're going to have two different color coordinates, so we terminate right away because we had two colors, we get two colors. So the final automaton has uh, two equivalence classes, just this one, one state, this was another state. You end up with a two state final, uh, final automaton, uh, which is sort of hard to visualize, but anyway. This is the star state has A, A and B arrows going to the other state, and it has A and B arrows going back. So you just keep going back and forth. You have two states, and the A and B arrow go here, and the A here. So it just accepts the set of all the equivalent strings. And that's that's uh, pretty clear if you think about this one, because an even length string, A, B would go back here, A, A. It just accepts the set of equivalent strings. This would be a good one to put an example in and then when you do that, which states are accepting states? Well, it turns out that the if the the uh, in this the accepting state is going to be this one because all the states in there are accepting states. And the same thing up here. This is an accepting state because everything, all these states are accepting states. So there might be more than one accepting state in the result. It's just all the uh, couple classes that are the most accepting. Um, so this is a fun algorithm. It's probably the most fun algorithm in the course. But anyway, I don't know, I guess different people have different ideas what the fun is. Oh well, okay. Now, now I'm going to go back. There were a couple of tricks that I didn't tell you about before because I thought I might be confusing, but now I'm going to go back and tell you these tricks. Uh, suppose you have an automaton and you don't want to minimize it. You'd like to sort of like to save yourself some work and just test if it's already minimal. So if it's already minimal, you don't have to minimize it. So there is a test for that. Uh, you can test an automaton minimal already, and if it is, then you know you don't, it won't change when you uh, try to 